Clean is simple. Included is a user manual, which is poorly translated from Chinese to English, the charging cable, and then the main unit. That's it. Build quality is really nice, weighing in at 27 pounds, which makes it feel hefty, but a good solid build, so when you take a few tumbles, it's not going to fall apart under you, though it scratches up easily. I think it'd be easy enough for most people to carry it around to class or into the office. Max speed is around 7 or 8 miles per hour, and it'll give you a little beeping sound when you're going max speed. Now it's actually pretty fast, and average jogging speed is 4 to 6 miles per hour, so this is like a fast jogging pace. On a full charge, it can go somewhere in the 15 miles range, which is pretty insane. I kept using mine over and over, tons of practice riding, and it took a few days to finally get it down to low battery. It can carry up to 220 pounds, and a bonus point, this thing charges fast, only takes a couple hours to fully charge. So learning to ride the scooter is actually really easy. You just hit the power button, gently step on the platform one foot at a time. These black rubber pads are like touch sensitive buttons, turning on the motors when enough pressure is applied. Using a wall or a person for support and practice standing up straight, the key is to just stay relaxed. Pro tip, push your feet to the edges against the rim, which seems to help me balance. Then you can start leaning forwards or backwards to move around, and that's really it. It's so quick and easy to learn. It's very intuitive. You just let your brain kind of think about moving around and it'll automatically do it for you. I even had my little nine-year-old niece learning to ride it in just a few minutes. In about 20 minutes of my first time practicing, I felt very comfortable on it. Going up and down hills takes a little practice, but you can feel the gyros working underneath your feet. It's very good and precise at compensating and balancing stability for you. The tires are rubber, not inflatable, so no concern for flats and great for gription. They're large enough to roll over and maneuver most sidewalk bumps and twigs, but not the big ones like these. They're just too large to hop over and it bottoms out. It really feels like you're in the future when you're riding this thing. Just think about moving